And a piece of living history rolls down the tracks through mid-Missouri. Camu 8 News first at 5 starts right now. 5. High drama in Washington today over a landmark legal case. Good evening, I'm Kim Sainan. Kim Uates, Allison Brown went to our Capitol today to hear what officials there had to say about the case. Allison. Well, Governor Nixon visited Mexico today to announce new jobs for the community. Cam Uates, Crystal Scott is reporting live in the studio with details. Kofi Annan announced today that Syria has agreed to a peace plan that could stop the fighting between Syrian forces and rebel fighters. Syria's biggest allies, China and Russia, are backing the plan. It calls for an immediate ceasefire, humanitarian aid, and eventual democratic reform. The UN reports the conflict has killed more than 9,000 civilians. And Pope Benedict is in Havana right now where he'll meet the Cuban president, Raul Castro. The Pope called himself a pilgrim of charity, saying he prays for Cuban justice, peace, and freedom. That language is a bit softer from yesterday's remark when he called upon Cuba to find alternatives to Marxism. And that's what's making news around the world today. Well, most people were pretty happy with the warmer than normal weather. I know I was not opposed. Welcome back. Spring's early arrival this year is causing some problems for dogs. Fleas and ticks are living longer since there were no deep freezes this winter. These bugs live in grass and pets can pick up fleas and ticks just by walking outside. Veterinarians found ticks on patients much earlier this year than in the past. Checking dogs for fleas and ticks after they come inside will help prevent some of the serious infections these bugs can cause.